Hey, Coach Stoops, question. You know, last year in the slaughterhouse, it was a crazy year. Chicago Sooners at the title. You can see the trophy right here. Anyway, question for you. How do you think Leonard did last year? Uh, he did okay. He's learning. I, I think they're, you know, he'll, he'll learn from that experience. What's he going to learn? How to log on to his computer? I don't even think he's going to show up this year. You know, I'm actually wondering where he's at right now. Second question, spill stains. Which is the highest probability, Steve spilling on his shirt, his pants, or both in the next week? I'm not, go I'm not gonna even go to any of those type of questions. Okay, well let's go on. Coach Gundy, I see you got a newspaper there. Is that the Wichita Business Journal? Uh, is that an article about CEO Eric Hatton? If anybody hasn't read this article, I don't read it. This was brought to me by a mother of children. I think this is worth reading. Let me tell you why I'm talking about this article. Three fourths of this is inaccurate. It's fiction. It's fiction. It talks about a lot of his success, you know, in quotes on life, and begs the question, you know, how did he get to be so successful? Here's all that kid did. He goes to class. He's respectful to the media. He's respectful to the public. He's fat. And he comes home crying to his mom. You'd understand. Hey coach, Big Jim had retired this year, and he's dedicating his life to whining about Royals baseball and whining about fantasy football. Let's actually see what Dad's doing these days now that he's retired. And uh, we got some clouds uh, lurking around there. Who knows what they're going to do? Um, but uh, it'll be extreme one way or the other. It'll probably be hot, or else it'll probably be windy, or who knows, hail. And I actually kind of look forward to hail. My favorite weather pattern happens to be uh, when it rains mud. Dust comes through, rain on top of it, it rains mud. Are you kidding me? Where are we at in society today? Who are you? I'm a man! I'm 40! Is it true that Frank Patrick's 40? That's not true! So get your facts straight. Settle down, coach. Is it true that Gabe McKee is the best wiffle ball player ever? That ain't true! Is it true that Ken Palm's Pythagorean system to develop college basketball ratings is the best system on the planet? That's why I don't read the newspaper. Because it's garbage. Calm down, coach. You're acting like a kid. That ain't true! Who's the kid here? Are you kidding me? That's all I got to say. It makes me want to puke. Hey, Coach Stoops, maybe you can answer some more questions. You say that Jim Hatton is the best fantasy football manager ever. So, yeah, see, you know, you do your best. There's no right way to manage any of that. You do the best you can, and, and it's hard, I'm sure. What about his style of play? He likes to feel and deal all these trades, make moves at the last minute, read in-depth interviews. I'm not criticizing. I'm just saying that style of play doesn't help. Whining about Royals baseball? A lot. <laughs> I mean, you could... Whining about fantasy football? A lot. <laughs> I mean, you could... Whining about fantasy football? A lot. <laughs> I mean, you could... A lot. <laughs> I mean, you could... What about the returning champions and reigning champions, the Chicago Sooners? Are they a championship caliber team? Can you label them as a championship team? I think you're seeing that. I, these guys that you've been watching now are now are very sure of themselves and confident in what they're doing. and. And I hope and believe that that that'll continue. You know that they're capable of making big plays, and 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 now with the the more more experience that they have and 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 confidence they're playing with. What would you say is the one thing that separates Chicago Sooners from everybody else? I, I don't know. Just maybe more maturity overall. Uh, but. Uh, you know, or, or maybe more depth, more quality depth. Before we go, let's see what the weather report is like tomorrow. Dad, can you help us out? <laughs> I suggest you go out and do what I do. Get out of bed, go outside. Then you know. Well, you guys, thanks for joining me today. It's another year in the slaughterhouse. And I just hope that Leonard actually shows up this year. And he's not busy doing other things.